Hey friends, I'm starting to work on my haversack project. But first, I need to give you a little backstory on this guy here. I came back from the spring meetup and uh, I was emptying out the van and I found this haversack in there. Well, I think it's a haversack. I'm not exactly sure what the heck it is. I uh, sent out some emails and see if anybody lost it and they uh, said no, nobody's lost one. So. I guess it's fine, or until somebody claims it. Um, I carry an everyday carry with me, a little bag. I carry all my stuff from work and a couple items, you know, to get home with in. And when the clips finally freaking broke off of it, I thought, you know, I was looking at this. Since uh, nobody's claimed it, I'm going to put my work items in there. So I put my work items in there that I carry to work with me, so I carry this to work all the time now. And I know it's a little overkill, but <laughs> it does the job. A while back, I was watching Darby, a river bend survival, and he was showing his haversack project. And I got to thinking, you know, there's a lot of times I go out and I don't need a full pack for what I'm going to do. For instance, I came out today, I came in two miles, set up this uh, little base camp, just kind of chilling out and waiting for the heat, of day, the heat of the day to be gone. And then I two miles back in the dark or in the afternoon sometime. So I put everything in this haversack. I'm going to need to do that uh, for today's project, basically. So we're going to take a look. I'm going to show you what's in there. The first thing I want to show you is the back of it. I don't know what this is, but it has a cushioning on the back of some kind. I don't know, but it did come in really handy. It did take me a while. I'm telling you, it took me a mile to figure out how high up on these straps I need to be where it needs to sit on my back. I kind of have it riding on right in my middle of my back. And I originally I had my camera on this side here, but as I was walking, it kept hitting my arm, so I ended up moving the camera over to the back side. And I put this little loop in here, just in case the camera fall, I don't want the camera to fall off, and I put a clip from here to here to the loop to make sure that didn't happen. This thing holds a lot more than I thought it would. Now, coming in, it was freaking heavy. I'm not going to lie to you, I had all the camera gear in there, the tripods and everything else, and that's a lot of freaking weight. And it would appear the biting flies are back. I'm going to have to stoke that fire up when we get done. It's very thick material. We've got two front clips here and here, and they are adjustable. They also got these clips here, which I have no idea what they're for. And it has the same thing up here on the tops, which I have no idea what they're for. There they are. So, yeah, if anybody knows, tell me. Okay, so we're going to start off on the side pocket here. We have a, a Nalgene water bottle. In here is uh, 32 ounces of water. I had a bunch of 550 wrapped around this little guy, but I used that to put my shelter system together. So the 550 is gone. But, uh, yeah, I've also got a lot more water with me I carry just in case because it is over 100 today. Uh, side pocket. I discovered... <laughs> This little guy fits my stove in there freaking perfectly. Uh, this is one of my older Stanley setups. And I don't have it used it that much. Still got the sticker on the bottom of the little guy. But I just got your basic fuel cell. That's from a jet boil. And tin foil. And one of my old backpacking stoves that I haven't used quite a bit since I moved up to the D Power. And it all fits perfectly in this little side pocket over here. So now, we've got our water covered, and we've got our stove covered, and yes, everything is still in Ziploc bags. <laughs> I am a big fan of Ziplocs. Alright, so let's pop this first section. Now, this first section is normally where I carry all my work items. Whoops! Now, basically, I keep a bunch of stick drives in there, two or three iPods, uh, some snacks and other stuff than that. And, of course, I have all my camera gear and tri uh, tripods in there, and they fit perfectly. Now, I'm using this right here. This is the uh, 1000 Luminous Zero Trace uh, flashlight. The cool thing about this is it will back charge, and I'm able to uh, charge up my cell phone with it or a camera if needed to be, and I can get basically two charges, which is not bad. And of course, I've got a little charge cable for that. And a little bit later on, I will be charging my cell phone up. But it does work, and it is a really bright flashlight. Of course, 
I don't like to go out without more than two or three light sources. This is one of my old Coleman's. I used to use this in uh, my uh, backpacking when I first started out. It's just a basically Coleman flashlight, and as you can see, it looks like the batteries are about dead in there. Thank God for the backup. So I put that in there, and it fits in these little pockets perfectly. It's got all these little cool pockets in there. Put that little guy back. Just a basic knife, nothing special. Uh, you probably find these. I got this one at Walmart. Really cheap knife. Just in case, because, you know, you're not going to be carrying your blade with you all the time. Some of the places I go, I can't do that. Had a compass. So I went ahead and threw this in there. This is one of the compasses I used when I first started out backpacking, and it still works great with no problems at all. Ah. Here, a train coming. <laughs> ah, I love those things. You know what? We're just going to keep on going. It ain't going to take it but a minute to pass by. It's not more than 300 foot away from me. So, we're in the back section of this, and once again, this is where I carry all my snacks at, and as you can see, I've been eating on them on the way out here today, and I've got one, one carb bar left and a couple drink mixes, and I'll probably save that until I head back in tonight. Basic little med kit, nothing spectacular, and we got ibuprofen, Benadryl, Got a lighter with a little duct tape on it. Uh, Neosporin. Here's some numbing gel. Chapstick, which does make a good fire starter. And some clean uh, tablets, uh, alcohol tabs, and a bunch of band aids. Of course, very important bug spray. <laughs> you got to have bug spray out here. I don't care, man. Uh, bugs out here just eating me alive earlier. That's why I had to make that fire over there. Your necessary kit. This right here is going to be your toiletries. I've got two things of toilet paper. And these wet ones come in real handy. Not only cleaning yourself off, but cleaning up after a mess. And as you can see, I'm quite dirty today and I've already used one. This is my meals. And this is what I was going to eat today, but unfortunately that just didn't work out as planned because I need more water than I thought. But I still have two ready to eat right here that I can use. Uh, these are Benford's, the French Toast. Little heads up on these though, guys. You need to heat them up. If you do not, it tastes like pooey. Um, biscuits and gravy was going to be my dinner, but <laughs> yeah. I did pick up an extra... Uh, titanium long handle spoon and I found this at REI for eight dollars can you believe that yeah I know that's very cheap especially when you get it from REI which that doesn't happen often okay something big just splashed behind me all right we're good <laughs> fire starter uh, these are great, they're lightweight, and you could cut it in half or quarter it out and start a fire. That's what I used to start that one right over there. Little candies, extra sugar boost. This really helps when you're hiking to give you a little burst of energy. <laughs> Don't laugh. That's right, folks. I've got glow sticks because you never freaking know. A little bit more 550. I think this is 50 foot I threw in there. It took 100 foot to set my shelter up, so the 50 foot came in great. It's extras. Okay, there's one more pocket hidden in this. Right up at the top. Bandana. It's very important. It's got a lot of uses. And once again, as you can see, I'm carrying another simple little coffee filter. The whole purpose of the coffee filter, if I really had to, I could put some water and filter it with the coffee filter before I put it in the Nalgene and then put it in my other one and boiled it out because I'm not carrying a Sawyer, Sawyer with me so that coffee filter helps. Two space blankets, 
because just in case, I'm not always going to carry a shelter set up with me. So the two space blankets, you could set one up as a shelter and the second one to lay on the ground. And this did add a little extra weight to the uh, haversack. Hand sanitizer. Uh, more, this is a great fire starter, and it does help to clean up. Another lighter, complete with duct tape. Yep. Hey, a while back, I did cut my knee. <laughs> and I made put two bandages on there, put on some Neosporin, of course, and then I wrapped it with duct tape so it wouldn't come off and I could finish my day out without worrying about getting any infections. So that's been a look at the haversack. It's really not that big, but I fit so much stuff in there. I was rather impressed with how much I actually put in there. Uh, so this is a project in, in the works. Like I said, I used it today exclusively to come out here, just two miles out, and set up the space camp. And there's an over there on the other side, uh, hanging off the uh, one of the tent poles over there. I do have my extra water bottle with more water in it and a couple of the flashlights, but you guys see now, just because it's so hot out. And my goal is to stay here until the heat of the day is gone and then hike back. So, there's a look at it, friends. Uh, once again, it is still work in progress. I'm going to be testing it out for a while and see what I think. I know coming in, it did take me quite a while to get it adjusted. Finally, when I worked that out, it felt a little bit better on my neck. I think I'm going to put a bigger pad on there. Uh, just to help support the weight, maybe something out of leather, I'm not sure yet. So if you guys have any suggestions for me or uh, anything I should add to it, as long as it's lightweight, please let me know back in the comment section. And if you get a chance, go over there and check out Darby's project, because he's pretty much doing the same thing with some old uh, military, military issue gear, and I think you guys will enjoy that. Uh, okay, comments are always welcome. This heads up, it does take me a little while to answer them sometimes. And like always, friends, thanks for watching.